Man, they said no. I probably suck. Nobody likes me. I'm not very good at this. Why would they sponsor me anyway? I'm not a world champion. But the truth is, the no that is here does not represent who you are. It doesn't represent the kind of athlete you are. It doesn't represent your heart, your soul, your integrity, which is a major important thing to sponsors. Your heart, your soul, your integrity, how you carry yourself, how you project yourself on camera, how you project yourself into the world. Don't be scared of the word no when you're approaching sponsors. And I'm gonna get into a little bit more of the numbers later on, but do not be scared of the word no. Here's action step number one. Another no is just one step closer to a yes. In 2013, I came off, at that point, my worst season ever. I missed the NFR barely. It's the only time in my entire career that I had missed the NFR up to that point. It had been several times, and it was really difficult mentally and financially for me because I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't really have any sponsors. I didn't know a lot of companies. I did rope okay, but I didn't have a lot of relationships with high influential people. And after 2012 season, I said, you know what, Tyson? We barely missed the NFR. We traveled all over this country and we lost our tail financially on the road. Wound up the season with zero pretty much. Probably some debt on there. And I got to thinking, I was like, man, it'd be good to get some sponsors. And my wife, well, almost wife at the time, my fiance was like, well, let's just go get some sponsors. And that's one thing I love about having a partner that's willing to push you and motivate you. And if that's not your wife, that can be your father, that can be your mom, that could be your sister, your brother, that could be an uncle, that could be somebody. So find somebody that can push you and motivate you to do that. So she says, well, we're just going to get some sponsors. I'm going to email like 150 companies. We just approach as many as we possibly can. And we got rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection. And pretty soon after a little while, it's like, Man, that no doesn't even sting anymore because it doesn't bother me. Just because this person doesn't say no, there's probably somebody out there that will say yes. That is correct. And so what we learned was a lot of times when we hear no, we take it internally. We take it personally. We take it like, oh no, you know, gosh dang, you know, that hurts my ego. You know, I don't like somebody telling me no. But if you can just flip that in your mind and realize that that's just one step closer to a yes, then you go to a whole nother level because guess what? The number of businesses out there that are willing and able to sponsor somebody are in the millions. There are millions of businesses out there that can do that. So if you hear no from 10, go 20. You hear no from 20, go 30. You hear no from 30, go 40. And for me, this was something very important that I had to flip that in my brain and say, hey, just because they said no, it doesn't mean they don't like me. It just means that it doesn't fit them and their budget at this moment and at this time. We're not gonna take it personal. We're not gonna get upset if somebody says no to us.